freezing day of winter 22. Yesterday, we broke out my new model, Lego snowboards, and we got right to work. But the night before, we showed up to Green's house, went into Green's room, passed out. Everybody has a different type of mattress style I legitimately need if I wanna function well and have my body working good and in unison with everything. A hard mattress. Green's sleeping on a soft mattress. Kind of wrenched my back in the middle of the night. Woke up, didn't really even stretch, didn't get warmed up, just went right to the mountain, broke the new board out and just started throwing down. First run, felt a little compression in my back. Finished riding, went to the gym, did the hot tub, did the stretching, got my mattress out, slept super good on the hard mattress last night, but still crazy weird right now. So we made some bulletproof. We're heading to Breck Rec Center. We're gonna go do some yoga, jacuzzi, try to warm this body up, maybe a little ice bath, ice shower afterwards. And yeah, just a little note to you guys. Do your warm ups. Even when you're overstoking, you gotta take care of yourself. You gotta warm up into things. I just went crazy yesterday for no reason. But good morning, we woke up to half an inch of snow. We're here in Breckenridge, Colorado. It's like two degrees outside. Thank you guys for everything, watching, subscribing, supporting, everything, it always means so much. So thank you, let's do this day. you supply dude you did that and i thought a freaking croy blew up <laughs> he still <laughs> has PTSD. <laughs> nice there's a seat up special in there somewhere Let's see if you can make it happen i can do that is controversial because everybody has their own opinions on it he's like if you were an 80 year old dude right now coming in here towards the end of your life he's like no way am i going to suggest you surgery surf three days a week that you love going to the gym and that you use your shoulders for gimbal work and your camera work it sounds like you want the most out of life and the most out of your shoulders i would absolutely suggest doing the surgery if you want that what's the deal with the insurance at the moment just bypassing it i'm going to try to call social services again today they wouldn't have seen me today if they knew i had medi-cal the most crooked system i've ever heard in my life because he's saying he can get me into surgery this week and he says he'll have me surfing by the end of spring this year if i get the surgery done insane the thing stays in you forever and you're good he said surgery takes an hour what six to eight weeks after that exactly pretty mellow pretty mellow um i have my first video tomorrow and ori is the one that Patiently waiting. Just got off the phone with D-Dub. This whole situation's insane, but he finally got some confirmation from somebody who knows something about some shoulders. And just the relief of him being told that he should be dealing with this pain and everything that is going on is normal, almost relieved a lot of the pain. And it's seeming like... Springtime, back in the water. After the... Surgery. Surgery's never fun, but it's gonna get him back in the water and have a good shoulder for the rest of your life. That's what he's looking for is longevity. And the guy was claiming that that was just not an ideal shoulder for a long term. Cuerpo like Dita. He's got a great Cuerpo. He's trying to keep that thing intact. So the insane part is the fact that he's trying to dodge insurance companies because they're switching him and he's just trying to get help. And then just to deal with all that is like, no. Loco way. Get loco. While we wait for the bus on our way to Breck, you rode Breck the other day. How was it? Very busy. Conditions were. Not the best, it was the end of the day. I had a good time, just getting some turns in. That's what we're going for. 
So we're gonna go ride Breck, take a little bit off, and pray that there's no line. Let's try to see how the board performs on the groomers with the size 12 boot. We're rocking the 155. Double B. Double B not wide. Not really. How low can we go? We'll find out. Bro. Living the dream. Yeah. Just sent the lake shoot. Yeah. Yeah, first time ever. Oh, sick. I just had like the best day ever. Now I just saw you two. Yes. What the hell? Ooh. Bad love, homie. Good See to you meet you. Here. I didn't know they still had a park. Are you nailing all three of these? Say so we're going to do cruisers. Where do we end up? <laughs> First thoughts on the park. Well, <laughs> in case the couple. All I want to say is I'm glad we're doing yoga tonight because my whole spinal situation is just crunched now. <laughs> Everybody's making claims like the parks at Brack are done. At least the regular lane, Park Lane, is as big as it's ever been. They're there, that's for sure. Like letting your boy rip your brand new 250 when you're a kid. Right. Second day, he's only had it for two days. I get to rip it. Oh boy! What have you been on a 150? Six. Academy. Team series. Are my feet gonna fit in the bindings? Wow! New board. Let me catch up to you. This kid, look how much faster he is. I'm telling you, that thing's fast. Yeah, we gotta go. I don't think I've ever had a board hold an edge so well in my life. <laughs> it's just so much trust in it when I was turning. Flashback to yesterday when I took it out of the wrapper. It just went straight at it with a file. <laughs> so I mean, left I don't know. But other than that, very responsive. Nice and stiff. New board, obviously, but very responsive. I think uh, I could definitely get used to this board. 
it's interesting because you're also jumping onto another pair of bindings. So it's the boot binding board combo. It's hard to really know what's going on. The stance too is a little. <laughs> you're claiming 12 12, but I don't know. <laughs> Feels a little. All right, give me my board back. How's it feel? Be back on. The new one? The one that's currently available right now? Current day break. What do I think of it? What do you think? I of don't it? think about it. <laughs> I, I hate to say it, but I don't think about it. I don't even want to put my two cents in, but I have to. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it went once this whole it season. Feel like there's no budget in the park? Yeah. Nah. And obviously the boys are in there working hard because there's features and stuff. And right. You know, someone's putting that together, but. No, no, no. It's massive. I think it's the higher up. But no, f not flowy. None. And it seems like freeway is now gone. Completely gone. The most legendary park. It's now a family run. Ever. Yeah. Decades of history. Yeah, so massive much. Contest, First trip we'll ever going down there. Do tour. Just, I remember coming here. Yeah. I remember dreaming of coming here for that. Yeah, Breck was the place to And be. now it's just. Full-blown yeah. bell resorts, no flow in the park, gigantic percent. features, 90-foot rails yep. everywhere that yep. are just like scary. Who wants and to board there? I don't, nobody. The kickers, the lips to every kicker oh, dude. was just... You should have seen a couple weeks ago. It was like I was out there building it with my bare hands. It was ugly. What happened? I don't know. Tkep, did you like it? V Resorts, Tkep didn't even hit it. He wasn't even... I hit it. He wasn't about like it at all. <laughs> yeah, it's sad, dude. It's sad. My it back, really is. my legs... My, my hometown, body. my hometown park where I would just cruise a couple minutes to the mountain is now a total bus. It used to be our front yard. We yeah, yeah. All the time. so easy. The shuttle was, we were there every day. Oh, the new Brack. Great Very things do come to an end though. That's what they do say, right? You gotta make room for greater. Yeah, exactly. God, we're sick. <laughs> all right. We gotta shut this video down, but first I have to explain that Breckenridge is still a massive six or seven peak mountain resort. And if you go there and you wanna have fun, you'll have so much fun. We are just entitled and spoiled and we had it in its peak and its prime. And now we're those older guys that are claiming it was way sicker back in my day. But I'm sure if it snows, which there is no snow basically in Colorado right now, you go to Breckenridge, you'll have the time of your life. But for park, not really our forte anymore. One thing that I have to say before we shut this video down, for the past two days, I have been revamping the entire Patreon with TCAP. And if you guys have been supporting on Patreon, I need to show you guys so much love because for real, I was thinking about it and I have so many things going on that I've never been able to really show the patrons or the Patreon the time of day. And now Patreon has it set up where they handle so much of it. So I just recently put a whole bunch of new logos on new pieces of merch items that will only be available ever on Patreon. I'll bring up the mug right here. I'll bring up some of the stickers, some of the hoodies. And if you guys are trying to support and you don't know what Patreon is, it is a simple monthly donation of any tier that you want. We have a bunch of new ones set up. And at the end of three months, if you're a consistent patron, you get a random piece of merch, whether it's stickers, hoodies, long sleeves, posters, or whatever tote bags that they have like that. And I just appreciate you guys so much. But I have to say, 
that I had some double tiers kind of duplicated up and I had to delete some and I had to delete the $1 because it actually costed more to have that one and then you couldn't ship anything or give you guys any actual incentives to join that tier. So check out if you guys were a patron, if you're even a patron anymore and make sure you're in the right tier. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of giveaways to just random patrons throughout the next couple of weeks, years, months of the vlog. I'm gonna be doing shout outs. I'm actually gonna give 10 shout outs right now to just 10 random legendary patrons who have been supporting for so long. We got Troy Taylor, Straight G, Jim Hollingsworth, Alex Bove, Joshua Lartiz, Jason Miller, Jose Andreas Leal, Max Samante, Silky Johnson, Tyler Howard, Alexia Tuttle, amazing human, Luke E, and Rick Kinsner. So if you guys are supporting on Patreon, be on the lookout. I'm going to be posting all types of updates there early. I'm going to be dropping random content that's not going to be going on YouTube. That is just custom for Patreons. I'm going to be dropping random little contests and I'm going to be doing random giveaways that I'm probably not even going to announce. So thank you guys as always for the support, the stoke, the love. I have to say that right now my snowboards are 100% sold out. So I'm speechless. I have no words to say except for just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Reach out to at Lego Snowboards on Instagram. If you guys want another batch to come out, that's how you do it. You blow up these Instagrams of the companies and you let them know that you'd be stoked on it. Let them know what size you want. I know a lot of people wanted wides, but thank you as always for everything. The support is unbelievable and we'll see you in another video for the dream.